This is a TCU T87A. In 1.76, I have created a target called TCU T87A can. And the setup is like so. We can click this button and we can go here. And this is regular uh, T87A canvas setup. So 12 volt and the can high and the can low without the general boot uh, jumpers here. Now, with the regular CAN bus, we should be able to read the TCU info, like so. However, if I try to go to the debugger on here, click this button, this does not give me anything. The reason for that one is T87A has disabled the custom kernel. So in this video, I'm going to uh, unlock the TCU so we can load our own kernel to be in there. I'm going to power off here and remove this wire 12 volt and I apply the 5 volt and have two wires and let's select the target for the uh, GM boot and then go here and see one, two, three, four, five. So another wire is needed. Another wire is needed. So one, two, three, four, five. And jump to the ground. Okay, this, set, this setup is for the GM boot setup. Uh, regular canvas high and change this 12 volt to 5 volt and add two additional jump wires here. So now let's go to the software and uh, check the software here and the DLL using the 0.02. .02. So under here we have two options. One is fixed checksum, which for you, if you have a different method to unlock the boot block, you can enter something here and fix the checksum, uh, as well as the new uh, check unlock method for the TCU T87A. So I'm going to power on here. And then we click this button and then power on the, the, the TC uh, 12 volt. So click on and power on. And we enter the debugger on in the GM boot mode. So I'm going to unlock here, click this button. And you can see we, ha we have about nine kilobyte uh, read speed for the boot block as well. We can patch it and then program back. So this will read the, the boot block of this version and we don't need to save it. It's apply the patch and then we can, do we want to program and we say yes. programming for the boot block is 13 seconds. We have nine kilobyte of write speed and about eight kilobyte of read speed. So now we are down the patching or unlock. So now I'm going to power off and power off ECU. TCU, then we remove these two wires. And then we remove this five volts. I'm going to apply the 12 volts here. Okay, so select the target of the early one, which is 87A can. So now I'm power on here, power on here, and wait about 10 seconds. Uh, let's read the TCU info. We can. So now I'm going to click this button, which we're trying to enter the debug on using our own kernel. You see, we can. So after unlocked, we are able to load our own kernel and I'm going to do an entire flash read so we can read the flash. And you can see our read speed is about 32 to 33 kilobyte versus eight to nine kilobyte per second. So if you were talking about read the entire 
four megabyte flash, we go from the eight minutes uh, of the GM boot mode to about two minutes, eight seconds uh, in this mode. Uh, in the case of the HP tuner, when they call read, they do not do a real read. Uh, in, in my case here, we are do a full read. Uh, but when we do the programming, however, uh, this boot block cannot be programmed using this method since the, there are some internal routines still being running at the uh, target block. You are able to erase the boot, flash one and trans and OS empty or everything you can do, but you cannot modify this area. Let's save it. And for demonstration purpose, I'm and here are all the read. And I'm going, not going to do the er, entire erase. I'm just going to er, erase this area. So we can exit the script. And let's say I want to uh, see if the flash one is blank or not. Let's say blank check. It will read again and it will say not blank because it clearly is not blank. Now, and I can try to erase it. I can erase this flash one or OS if you want. So we can individually erase it. So now it's erased. Let's check again, see if it's blanked. It is. So when we do the programming, we can achieve like 27 kilobytes per second and uh, four seconds to do the programming and uh, a few seconds, you know, eight seconds to do the read. So with this unlock method, we are allowing us to download our own kernel and I hope the tuning software can use this method to do a better and a faster programming. I forgot one thing here is when you use this MCP board, because TCU does not have the internal uh, 120 ohm resistor termination. So I put another 120 ohm resistor to the two terminal here and jumper here as well. So when you use the multimeter, measure the resistance from the two terminals here, it is about 60 ohms. Uh, all in all, this TCU T87 is fully unlocked to the point we, what we are, whatever we want to do with it. Uh, if you, you have different unlock method, you can just play with this boot block and using the uh, checksum tools provided in the software to generate the legit boot block.